Eames and John. We like to tell them what we thought of their selfish work and mission. However, Jesus gives them a very gentle answer. He simply says, you do not know what you are asking. And this remark of Jesus shows us that ignorance of the nature of the kingdom that Jesus was going to set up was the cause of their very human ambition. They, like the other disciples, still had the common Jewish idea of the messianic kingdom. They thought that the Messiah, and they were now pretty sure that Jesus was the promised Messiah, they thought that he would set up a worldly political kingdom in Israel, get rid of the Romans, and uh, eventually his reign would go all over the world, all over all nations. That this kingdom he would set up would be universal was, of course, in all of the Messianic prophecies in the Old Testament. But this idea was not grasped by most of Jesus' contemporaries and even the other disciples. They did not realize that it was not a political kingdom, but a spiritual kingdom that Jesus would set up. And so Jesus, knowing the disciples still had the wrong idea, was very gentle with them and didn't read the riot act to them at all. He took the opportunity to tell them that he would set up a glorious kingdom, but that his suffering and death would be a prerequisite for the kingdom to be set up. Well, I don't think there's any Christian today who thinks that Christ came on earth to make us wealthy and happy and prosperous for all of the few days that we have in this world. 30, 40, read the newspaper, 60, 70, if somebody gets to be 100, boy, do we have a party. Uh, because we just have a few years in this life well, in the scripture, where does it say man's days are like those of grass? It grows up one in the morning and the evening, the hot sun, he's gone. I'm not trying to ruin your day, just, just <laughs> saying life is, life is short. Shorter for me than for many of you, too, but there you are. Um, lost my train of thought here. Um, there are many Christians today who do not accept the teaching and don't want to accept the teaching that. The way to heavenly glory is the way of the cross. They'll go, oh, Jesus reminds his disciples today that their basic vocation is to serve. And like most in society, the apostles want to feel important. That's a common human feeling for all of us. We want to be important, and most of us aren't. Uh, Jesus turned their ideas 180 degrees around making it clear that if one wishes to be important in the eyes of God, it is necessary to be a servant of all. God is the kindest of all fathers. He wants all of us to be in heaven. He has mapped out the road which makes us possible, which will lead us there. And God does allow hardships to come our way at times to help us prepare for our real future life. So today with James and John, we should tell the Lord that we are ready to follow him on the path to Calvary. We're not very courageous. We're all a little bit scared about the possibility of, of suffering. That's normal, ordinary, we're human beings after all. But our earthly crosses are light compared to the cross that Christ carried. And his sufferings he went through were for us. Any hardships or sufferings we have in life are our own, as it were. So how can any Christian be weary and faint-hearted when he has Jesus to help him or her on the road to carry the little problems and difficulties and trials and tribulations that we all have? There'll be health problems, maybe finance problems, interpersonal problems. No one goes through life perfectly easy and happy. Uh, and it's not God punishing us. He allows things to happen to us to train us to realize that we are on the road to Calvary and on the road to heaven. We are truly a blessed people. We should leave the church.
church this evening. Deliriously happy. The scriptures, the Lord loves us, wants to be in heaven. And he says, yes, you've got some hardships in life. I permit these to happen, but I'm your loving father, and I want to help you. Loving fathers don't say to their children, oh, it's cool to send you to school. You can play all day long in the backyard. That wouldn't be a real father. Uh, so the Lord permits some hardships to come to all of us to train us, to prepare us for our future life. Mm. So say we should leave church thanking God for his goodness and his love, his mercy and his compassion. Thank you, God. Mm. Amen. 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 Amen.